Hey guys, it's Traffleton. I spent one week of the time of doing my channel, which I probably could have spent doing better things, learning about making servers the right way. Using solely information on the internet and leveraging what power that I have as a content creator, I will have to admit that I'm throwing in the towel, and I am very close to deterring people from making their own website. Now, I know this is contradictory to a lot of people who say, oh, you should get a website to plant your flag on the internet and have a presence on the internet. And obviously, it's impossible to make a perfect website. But I'm going to break down some of the reasons why it's very, very difficult to have your own website today. Now, one of the growing problems of hosting content on the internet is AI. This includes the torrent of garbage that hits your server. And I somehow doubt that there are many people visiting my website using outdated versions of Internet Explorer or attempting to visit common PHP exploit pages that totally exist because I don't use PHP at all. Recently, generative AI has changed us for the worst, where now every tech company is boarding the AI train and wants to scrape your website for data. The result of this is your website gets hammered by AI trying to mine your artwork to make AI images or get the text content to do who knows what with. And this isn't counting what search engines like Google and Microsoft are doing or services like Perplexity that hide the behavior of what their bots are doing. Unfortunately, modern problems call for modern solutions. And no matter what you pick in today's day and age, it must integrate some form of AI blocking. Now, there are two programs for this, and my experience with them is overall very limited. Those two being Anubis and Cloudflare. Just pick one of them and implement them. But the worst way to implement something like Anubis or Cloudflare is having to deal with native distribution repositories. And there are still many people and documentation pages brainwashed into thinking that this is the correct way to do things. This is where containers come in as universal ways to package applications, the way that the original application developer intended, assuming they even package it as a container because the problems have less to do with containers themselves, but rather the fact that of OCI technologies, there's two that really compete for everybody's attention, that being Docker and Podman. Of the two, I believe that Podman is the better choice because it doesn't require root privileges, but also it's mostly backwards compatible with what Docker needs to do. Now, there are issues when it comes to certain programs that are not made with Podman in mind because they are targeting features that are only available in Docker. For example, if you want to run the web server tech traffic, if you want to host your own website, for example, you need to use a Docker container because of the way traffic expects things to be done, because it wants things to be done the Docker way. And the way IP addresses are managed are not done the same way in Podman for some reason. I don't know why this is. I am just trusting a post online because I couldn't find any information about this anywhere. This is compounded by the fact that distributions may modify packages or just refuse to implement features altogether, which is further complicated by the vast majority of common server distributions running outdated versions of applications that you use, like Podman. Because if you use something like Debian, Debian does not support Podman's quadlets, which are used to auto start your containers on login. Granted, learning about how to write a quadlet is not easy in the slightest and requires that you download a script from homebrew but this is the reason why distributions matter a lot and i don't have a good solution to what to pick because of all the stupid mismatch versions and especially given that server software on server distributions is always out of date unless you use a repository or image provided by the makers Speaking of which, let's talk about the actual implementation process of getting server software. The whole thing is very bad and poorly explained. Now, it's one thing for a community project like Anubis, where it's only run by a couple of people, but it's another thing for a multi-million dollar company like Cloudflare, where I cannot read any of their documentation without my brain oozing out above my ears. Now, the most technical term for this is a reverse proxy, where you basically declare to your computer where you want everything pointed. The most popular of the bunch being Nginx. Nginx is one of the oldest internet reverse proxies, but because 
because it's older, it has a ton of problems with its default configuration. For one, Nginx will always report the version of Nginx on the default error page, and this will often rat out which Linux distribution you are using or if you are vulnerable to any crippling security issues. Now, the lesson that Nginx will teach you is that you need to redirect your error pages. Whether you are using a static site builder, WordPress, or another solution, you need to change your error pages or redirect pages to be something else. And this is compounded by the fact that there are virtually no tutorials online to use Nginx with something like Cloudflare or Anubis. And because it's so bad, it has spawned many competitors because people couldn't be bothered to deal with Engine X because they would rather deal with new software made in an era where these flaws don't exist at all. Now, let's get into those alternatives. Some of those alternatives include programs like Trafic and Caddy. Now, I initially started with Caddy, and I actually have a fully written Caddy file, and I'm actually pretty proud of it because I figured out how to do most of it by myself by scouring the internet. The problem is integrating Cloudflare of Caddy requires building from source another module just to get Cloudflare to work properly. This is because of a certain change that Caddy did to refactor all of their extensions to be separate from the base image. Now, the moment this has happened, and when I first tried to build my own module, my server instantly crashed. Turns out, despite the image optimization that I have done on two files on my website, it still is not enough, because building Caddy modules literally eats up all of the storage inside my server. Now, I will tell you right now that I cheaped out and got the lowest memory possible, but when my website barely exceeds a gigabyte and I am uploading images, that's just not acceptable. Now, I know I could increase the storage, but I'm also operating on a shoestring budget as a content creator, and I do not want to exceed the cost or living outside of my means. I would like to fund this with my real life job as little as possible, and I would like to cut down costs as much as possible, and I don't think I'm the only one. Now, I know there are going to be people who are saying, well, forget about Caddy. Why don't you try something like Cloudflare Pages since you're so hell bent on using Cloudflare? This seems like a much better solution, but it introduces a different kind of problem. Cloudflare Pages require posting your information on a Git server. A Git server that, if you're especially if you don't know how to host these things, is likely controlled by someone else, considering you came crawling to watch my video. The last thing that I want is every single mistake every single typo that I ever write to be published in a record for the rest of eternity for anybody to browse and is not easy to delete in the slightest. Beyond that, services like GitHub have already shown that they will gladly mine information from your repositories and use it to train artificial intelligence run by Microsoft. But let's break all this down. I cannot get traffic to work, because it requires something like Docker. So I can't use something like Podman, which is an objectively better solution because it has less permissions on your Linux system. I can't use Caddy because I don't want to pay for more storage on my server for what is already a low budget operation and what should be a basic feature of software. And the last is I cannot use something like Cloudflare Pages or GitHub or GitLab Pages or whatever because you have to trust yet another service in addition to the other services that you need to trust just to get a website up and running. And you also need a reverse proxy support for bot protection so your content doesn't get stolen and your website stays up. But let's get into that. There's one last thing of all of these beyond the web servers that you pick or bot protection or all of that. It's all of this information is either non-existent or being gatekept, both by people who are experts in the field or idiots online who believe that containers are the devil, you should avoid system D and learn how to write binary in your cron tab instead. For reference, I used a burner account to download various documentation from Red Hat about how to use containers and Podman. Now, as an outsider, I actually think Red Hat does a very good job with their documentation. They have public documentation, very detailed, I actually think it's pretty great. Uh, and Podman is no exception. Now I think Podman has good documentation 
in no way does it get you started with information that actually matters. There's zero assistance of writing a Docker file or a container file to get you up and running, which you need to write in order to publish something like a website. Guides like this are very scarce, but it's pretty easy to figure out how these work by reverse engineering work from random strangers on GitHub who publish their Docker files for all to see and give it for artificial intelligence to train their data off of. The problem comes in when many of the messy aspects of making a server come together. I have browsed virtually every single page on YouTube, Google, Discord, Reddit, everything that AI has possibly touched, and it is impossible to find a way to get Cloudflare to stop infinitely redirecting my website into oblivion with 502 errors. You will see, find that someone set up Cloudflare with Caddy or installed Nginx in a Podman container, but nobody who installed caddy and a podman container that runs cloudflare at the same time or in my situation needs to be someone who's running traffic and a podman container with cloudflare at the same time and makes it worse nobody does all of it correctly it needs to all be done together not halfway now this is where i ran a final test and as a content creator, I will say right now that I'm very privileged with a technically savvy audience who are very bright about these kinds of topics. So as a social experiment and also as a disguised call for help on all of my social media accounts, Mastodon, Twitter, Blue Sky, and my YouTube community page, I have hundreds of followers across my social media. I have thousands of subscribers on YouTube, but only one person responded by referring to me to a Techno Tim video. That doesn't sound that bad as long as I suck it up and learn how to use Docker instead of Podman, but this gets to my point. If I am a content creator and I only got one comment, imagine how burned people are going to be if they are told to ask around on a forum because I have burner accounts that go through Matrix and Reddit and Discord to ask these questions to other people. And all of them have either been ghosted or told to get good kid why should it be different for anybody else? That is the real problem with all of these stupid self-hosting communities. Compounded by the fact that information is constantly changing and people won't delete their old videos, people won't give you answers to basic problems. Please tell me what to do. I'll do literally anything. I have a very high BS tolerance, but don't give me cryptic advice or tell me to read documentation or just ask an AI or use Google because I've looked everywhere. I even looked on the forms. That's how you know I'm reaching desperation and I'm really close to throwing the towel. And I'll tell you right now, if it wasn't for the people on YouTube who give me money and the people who are on Patreon, I really could not be bothered. And I will tell you right now that I'm probably making this out of rage, and this is something that I don't do very often, but this is a problem. If this is, if I cannot find basic information for this stuff online, you're all screwed too. And because of that, we're all screwed together. If you cannot make a website, if I cannot make a website correctly, you cannot make a website correctly. And if someone is like, oh, but I did it, it was so easy. Tell me how to do it. I am really tired of doing this. <laughs> And if you are tired of the self-hosting communities, keeping all this information secret, not writing it down anywhere, or all of guys just being scattered everywhere and nobody actually makes a solid guide on how to do any of this, please, why don't you leave a like on this video? If you leave a like on this video, maybe, just maybe, it'll bring more attention to the awful situation that this entire thing is. And when I do it, I'm going to be doing it in plain English, no environmental variable garbage very description stuff. I am just going to tell you how to do it like a normal person in normal human English. And if you'd like, to hear more about what I do, you can always visit my website, travelton.com. If you want to see every single forum post or Reddit thing that I've banged my head against, you can go visit my website and see that I actually cited all of them and maybe a paper trail if I can come close to it. The website is completely ad-free. There's no AI generated content and it is paid by people who give me money on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Because if you'd like to support the work that I do, that is where you can donate me money. With that, 
I am going to close the video before I burst another vein. Have a great rest of your week.